Republic of Fiji is found in the heart of the South Pacific. It's filled with sandy beaches, warm water, tropical weather, and the most friendliest people you're ever likely to meet. It's around a four hour flight direct from Melbourne, Sydney, or Brisbane to Nandi in the South Island. The country's made up of over 330 islands, with around one third being inhabited for a total population of near on 900,000. Our journey today is with the Link Division of Fiji Airways with a flight from Nandi to Lambasa in the Northern Island. And via the air you get to see the incredible diversity from mountains to amazing reef systems. I think most kids have been dragged for a holiday to Fiji uh, for what they thought was organised for them. The other major industry is sugar exports which as you fly over and drive through the island you see is such a major factor in the growth of Fiji. During a pretty cold Melbourne winter, it was great to get out of the plane and feel that warm Fijian air. It makes a great difference. Then we jumped in the car to go to Nukumbadi Island, which is a fantastic resort just off the western side of the northern island of Fiji. It's an interesting 40 minute drive where you get to see up close what the island's really like. You get mountains that come all the way down to see some incredible coconut plantations and of course the sugar cane before we hit what we're after, the water. G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're in magnificent Fiji on the North Island and this boat's come over to get us. We're going to stay at Nukabadi Lodge which is uh, the island just over there which has got some amazing fishing. It's got a little bit different to what we're used to so it would be some flats, some deeper little areas and that sort of stuff but uh, it's just going to be pretty incredible. Too many bags but that's okay, that's okay, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Let's go. Very special, lovely. Thank you. Banaka, Banaka. Oh, Pete, pleased to, pleased to meet you. And the Buller, exactly. Yes, it is. It's a marvellous place. Yeah. Excellent. A nice trip down the road. Ah, it's lovely. It's a, it's a well, were you flying to um, Labasa? Yeah, yeah. Right. and yes. it's a, it's an interesting drive down, isn't it? Yeah, to yeah, see, you see a lot of the countryside. I guess you wouldn't yeah. expect, you know, what we think of, of what Fiji is and, and it's, um, you know, just green bush. It's a different, isn't it? You know, d all the different areas that you go to and, and the drive through had a lot of like sugar cane and quite a big industry. Sugar cane yeah. and coconut plantations and rice fields. Yeah. Yeah. All the way along Something there. in there for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. They can do that. And you obviously love the place to, oh, to, to have, 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 have bought a place yeah. like this and invested been a lot here, of time. Been here 25 years. 25 years, Jim. No. Well, why would you? With a place like this, I mean, you, you instantly in the first couple of minutes, you go, I quite like this place, you know? So, yeah, I think you could do another 25 years I'm too. Uh, now, Pete also guarantees us a million fish generally every day. Oh, so, we yeah. hope so, yes. There's, there's mm, a lot yeah. of fish out there, and uh, we're the only people with fish around here, really. So. Wow. And I think something a little bit different, there's a lot of fly fishing in this area as well, which is yeah. not, not understood um, by a lot of the, the, the Fijian um, areas. So, we're looking to to do a bit of that and, and, and some of the flats fishing and, and yes. a lot of trevally and it should be, yeah. be a great yeah. place, yeah. A lot of trevally around here. Yeah. yeah, and I think the beauty of a place like this is the husband can come and he can go out fly fishing yeah. and yeah. the partner may not want to fish. No. So And there's plenty to do plenty. or plenty not to do plenty around to do. in, in a place like this. Yeah. Yeah. Now if you've got a bit of time too, there's always uh, plenty of room to sit back and relax. There's plenty of good magazines there and we've got a whole library full of books. So uh, at the end of the day, 
it's Fiji time and you've got all day to do it. You don't have to be anywhere else, so sit back and relax and read a book. It's not a bad way to spend a bit of time. We've got a couple of hours before the sun goes down, so we're going to duck out to um, some of the mangroves just as the tide's dropping and see if we can't uh, get off the mark with a couple of fish. So uh, we'll see how we go. Poppers are good. What will, what, will, what will I tie on now? Popper? So uh, that's the popper we're going to use, which is white and it's got a little concave head there. So that'll pull that through the water and it splashes a lot of water in front of it, makes a lot of noise. And like a wounded bait fish trying to jump out of the way. And Trevally uh, looking up and they're on, the, on the, the target for these smaller fish that are running away from them. So they'll hopefully they'll wolf those and I'll give Cole one that's not quite as good as mine. That's one. He's a man. That was a uh, little, uh, what have we got? Barracuda? Well, there you go. That was something a bit different there. That was something we don't see. I mean, we have a few different ones, but that's a... Uh, Nice, they've got pretty sharp teeth. A nice and spiky teeth, don't they? Very good. Very aggressive too on that popper, isn't it? They just whack it. Hold well on, mate. Didn't take very long. Alan's our super guide. He promised about a million fish. Well, that's our first one. So we've got a couple more to go. Yeah, no, that one didn't need a kiss. And when you are popping, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. We want, want that popper to move as much water as possible. So we can just do a straight pull, that's fine too. Or if you really want to move a lot of water, it's a double. So you're pulling and, and doing the rod as well. And that action really throws as much water as possible because it really imparts a lot of action into that fly. So if you want to uh, move a lot of water, use both hands and really get that fly working.